Right, but Kevin Byers has talked a lot about you guys challenging receivers more and being aggressive at the line of scrimmage. Uh, do you feel that's something that you know, can kind of emulate from, from you and how you play the game? Oh, uh, man. We got to come out here and do what we got to do. Um, that's what the coaches want. That's what, that's what I'm used to, and we just got to get everybody else to follow along. Is that something they talked to you about you know, before they brought you aboard, like they, they wanted you to do that? Uh, yeah, but then again, they didn't have to talk to me. I already know, you know, my reason for me coming here, um, my style of play, and I just continue to do what I got to do. How have you seen Caleb Farley um, come along, you know, through training camp and the preseason? Obviously, you spend a lot of time with him, like working on the side during special team stuff and what, what have you. How have you seen him kind of grow as you guys kind of head into the season? Uh, you can tell by the way he's practicing. Um, everything, picking up. Uh, he's not out there second-guessing himself. Um, not doing too much thinking. He's just going fast. And um, I think that's a good stride for us. How about Elijah? Uh, kind of the same thing. How have you seen him progress and how you like his instincts as a, as a player? Great instincts. Play fast. For him to be a little guy, he played physical. And I just like the way he approaches the game. To, to take a risk here and there to, in order to, to make a play on the ball, how do you, how do you kind of size up? When, when's the right moment, when you have the right read that, that you know you've got a good enough chance to, to go for it? Uh, once, you pick, once you figure out the, that specific play that you practiced on and figured out all week, and once they show you that formation, there's your chance. You just got to take that, uh, advance of it, advantage of it. What, um, I was asking some of the coaches the other day if anybody had asked you to talk to the younger corners and sort of guide them. They said no, you kind of took that upon yourself. What, what you know, makes you do that? What makes you kind of go out of your way to sort of work with some of the younger guys? Because um, I came in like 2012. I had guys like Cortland doing the same thing to me. Um, so when I when I left, you know, the Rams, I feel like it was only right for me to do what I that I had been taught to young guys that coming in the league. Have they said that they appreciate, you know, like Caleb and Elijah, kind of appreciated what they're getting from so far. It's all one unit, man. So we all just stick together and. However we can help each other out, we're going to help each other out. I don't know how much you're talking about the problems last year there on the third down, but how much you kind of take that upon yourself? How much is the secondary and the defense as a whole making uh, that challenge this year to be much better in that area? Uh, they've been preaching it um, through camp. Um, we got to understand, you know, third down is key. I and mean, we got to get out the field, um, whether it's stop the run, stop the pass, whatever it may be. But we got to get out the field. Challenge right out of the gate as you look at your first opponent, uh, you know, looking at the Cardinals. What do you what do you see on tape, and what are going to be some of the challenges you see? Just main, just keeping the quarterback in the pocket, um, handing D Hop outside, and um, we should be good. Back to that p picking your spot when you go into a game, yeah. how like determined are you to to find those moments, or how confident are you they're going to be? I don't know how many how many moments that you can identify to, to go. I only worry about one formation that I picked out during the whole week. I don't really worry about too much. I'm going to lock in on one formation the whole week, and once it presents itself, I'm going to take advantage. Does helping some of those younger guys help you stay sharp on fundamentals and teaching help you learn too? Of course, because it let me know I got to be on top of my game. I got to stay sharp, you know, and um, just work. On Kyler Murray, and when you're going against a quarterback like that for you as a DB last spring, is that something that like it's elevated uh, on a week like that? Oh yeah, it's elevated uh, all through week. Just plastering with your guys, staying with them, following following them wherever they go, um, sideline, bathroom, wherever. We just got to plaster. You view this week as kind of an extended game week, and kind of what's what's your approach over the next few days before the calendar? Oh, fundamental techniques. Uh, and just getting better, back to the basics, uh, eyes, stabbing at the ball, getting the ball out. It's just a fundamental, a fundamental week, and um, we're gonna approach it like that. You already started like looking at film though on, on Arizona. Uh, I, that started last week. I mean, I've been. You gotta always study, it, no matter if you're in camp or not. Like the game gonna happen sometime, so you still gotta be ahead of yourself. Uh, the hardest thing for college guys to adjust to when they hit the NFL, in, in your opinion, for for cornerbacks. I say it's the speed of the game um, and the accuracy of the quarterbacks. I think that's big. Even closer coverage than they're used to. Correct. Yeah. So far, so good. Um, 
I like what we be, what we have been doing. Um, we just got to continue. It's all about communicating, you know, making sure everybody on the same page and just making plays. You talk about playing physical coverage and pressing up close to the line of scrimmage. In your experience, how much is, is the amount of cushion you give up to you on a given play and how much of that is coming from the coaches? Uh, it's on you. Um, whatever. It's also down the distance, uh, you know, knowing what's the uh, – the, the the what the down the distance and knowing what's the part of the game like second half first half uh, last two minute four minute all that play a key role into you know knowing what you could do. Does it take a certain level of confidence and swagger? You know, it's third and five where you say I'm not gonna stand on the line of the game. I'm gonna stand right on the line of scrimmage. Of course, um, you gotta play with confidence at all time. It's the NFL. Everybody great. Everybody good. However y'all wanna label it. And um, everybody out there trying to make plays. So you got to have swagger and heart.